depersonalize your house right now if you're gonna sell. Hi, Samantha Perlman here with the Perlman Property Group. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about decluttering and depersonalizing to get your home ready for sale. Look, we all love space and we all love stuff, but we all love to put a lot of stuff in our space. And that's okay, except for when you try to sell. One of the things you need to think about when you're putting your home on the market for sale is that you're entering a competition. And the way you sell your house is not how you live in your house. So you wanna look at it from a buyer's perspective. Look, we all have extra stuff in our house that we're no longer using. Maybe it's that chair in the living room that really should have been tossed when you bought the new recliner. Uh, maybe it's that treadmill in your bedroom that you bought five years ago with really great intentions, but has now become a clothing rack. That's okay, we all do it. But the idea is when you're getting your home ready for sale, that you really get rid of or pack away or donate those items um, so that you clear up the space in your home. You want the buyer to walk through the home and think to themselves that this is more than enough space than what they need, both space and storage. So one of the things I'm gonna recommend is that you go through your closets and cupboards. Um, maybe you pack up all those extra sheets and towels in the linen closet so that it's not bursting at the seams. Maybe even leave an empty shelf here and there if you can. Go through that dreaded Tupperware cabinet in your kitchen so that if a buyer decides to look through the cabinets for storage, everything doesn't come toppling down on them when they do. It's okay to have this stuff, um, but really when a buyer comes through, you really wanna pack away as much of it as possible. Um, if you're a collector, like my husband that collects Coca-Cola memorabilia, that's wonderful. And a lot of these collections could be worth money, which is great. But again, when you're selling, you don't wanna be distracting the buyer. They don't wanna be walking through the living room looking at all of your beautiful collections and memorabilia. You want them to be able to walk through the living room and say, wow, this is so much space. I can picture our couch here and our TV there. That's what you want when you're selling your home. So pack up those items. I recommend that you can pack them up into a boxes and if you have a large enough garage or shed, store it in there as long as it's nice and neat and people and buyers can still navigate through those spaces. Because remember, garage and shed and storage could be important to them. So you wanna make sure you're not clogging it up to where they can't walk in. And certainly if you park in the garage, you don't wanna block yourself from being able to park. Um, in those instances where you don't really have anywhere you can pack it um, away, we recommend getting a short-term storage unit or maybe finding a friend or family where you can store your items there. Uh, one of the other things I want you to think about is depersonalizing the space. You know, it's great to be surrounded by family photos and, you know, memories, but at the end of the day, when the buyer comes through, they want to be able to picture them and their family in the home, not necessarily you. So don't take it personal and take down those photos. You know, take down the photo of great-grandmother or, you know, your child's newborn photos. I mean, they're adorable to look at, but really it's going to be distracting. So pack them up nice and safe and get them ready for your next house and your next home um, adventure. And you can unpack and, and enjoy them in your your new space. So if you have any questions about selling your house, um, if you're thinking about making a move and you want to know what your home might be worth in today's market, I've included a link below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to uh, watch other or be notified of other real estate related videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and happy house selling.